term home care? Because she takes care of the home, the family. How do we use the word housewife? Oh, me, family. Ah, because you think the home family. So it me, but it is just, oh, I see more about the family wife for the house, uh, housewife. Do you think that they take care more of the housework of the, or what, yes? What do you want to say? Uh, more spiritual, spiritual idea. Well, I think uh, we, when we use the uh, word housewife, we just refer to the uh, household, housework of the uh, wife, household, home care. I mean that you are uh, why not only care about the household, but also about the family, the development of the do you want to ask any questions to your fr to your classmates? Yes. Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. You want to finish your presentation? Okay. Mm, you see, uh, we we mean at first uh, are employed very low price, but know. even though they are cheap labor, but they feel some some amount of independence. So you see, they are so they go to work even though the the price and uh, the the wages, the wages, the salary uh, is very low. Lower than, much lower than men. Uh -huh. And how do you call this? Now, women are, look, are asking for what? If you say that they have the same job, yeah? No, they have the same job, but they're not the same pay. How do you call this? Now they want to get the e equality. Equality. If not equal, equal, equality or equal, equal opportunities. Right. Or equal, equal opportunities. Uh, that's right. Equal opportunities or equal, equal, equal pay. Right. Yeah. And now we come to the next step of the development, you see? Uh, the two world war happens, and okay. then uh, at that time, as we already uh, said, men have to go uh, to the better field. So uh, women at home, because lack of the shortage of laborers, they have to uh, work on the farm and factories, which is previously uh, managed by men, and then they can do it all right. So um, the society view to the women's role, to the women's potential, ability of working um, change and then women uh, themselves can recognize uh, their own potential too okay very so, good. okay i think i thank you very much for your presentation you go back to your place i would like to ask you so this is the the causes how do you think that uh, in britain uh, the government decided to have any measures to have women, to have the equality. Can you tell me about the, 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 the measures of the government or laws that were passed by, by parliament? You see, the law, the law gradually acknowledged the women's rights, uh -huh. and then uh, they uh, make... What kind of rights did they, do they, do they get? What kind of rights did you get? Uh, group one, you, you were supposed to prepare it. The Marriage Women's yes. Property Act starting in 1870 enabled women to hold the post of uh, their property. Yes, uh, because they before, before they get, uh, what, what happened? They, when they get married, they, they have to pass their um, um, property. property. That's why their property is to their husband. Property. To their husband. So with this act, they are allowed to what? To? They are allowed to what? To hold their property. To, to, to hold their properties for them, for yes. themselves. Yes. Eh? And let me ask you first, uh, where did you study your English? Well, I, I studied my English first, uh, first uh, of all here in Vietnam, and I graduated. And after a while teaching here, I thought that uh, it would be good to, well, to further on my studies. So um, the Australian government gave, uh, you know, not only myself, but all, other teachers a uh, scholarship. So I went to Australia, and I did a diploma in TESOL in 1987. After a while, I came back and I, well, I was specialized in the teaching British culture and society to the third year students. So I got a scholarship to go to Britain. And in Britain, I did my MA degree at the University of Warwick. And I just came back, well, four or five months ago. So I'm back to the university in my new position as the acting chair of the English department. I'd like to ask your, some of your students why they're studying British culture or why do you know English so well? Mm -hmm. So anyone can answer. Okay. Yeah, go on. Yeah, just go. Yeah. So, can you tell more clearly about your question? Yeah. Why Why are you interested in English at all? What What purpose? Uh, we uh, We uh, We are uh, no uh, at the uh, at age at the age of twelve. 
we can learn English at high school mm -hmm. and from then on we continue and if uh, you are interested in English and you try you enter university or you can enter the university, university. The, uh, yes. uh, after the exam how old are most of how old are you 21 21 20 and how how much more school do you have to go before you graduate from university how much more do you have to go? How many more years of school? How many more years? About one more, one more year. year. One more year, right. And four years in the university. And what kind of a degree will you have when you graduate? Bachelor. 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 Bachelor's degree in what? In English. Of All of you in English? Yes. yes. So what are you going to do with it once you graduate? Interpreters. Interpreters? A any kind of any, a job any kind of that concerns so. English. Will you all stay here in Vietnam? Yes. Yes. Abroad? <laughs> Where would you like to study? Where would you like to study? America. Literature from Central America. It doesn't matter to me. United States. Here I have the best education. No, I don't think so. But maybe uh, in prison or in Australia is all right too because they are s s yes. English speaking countries. Have any of you in this country ever traveled to an English speaking country up to now? Not yet. No one? Not yet. We don't have chance. What a pity. We don't have chances to go there. What do people in Vietnam think of the United States now? What do you think of the United States now? Uh, I think it's a prosperous country. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's laughs> no. For me, I hope the relations between two countries mm -hmm. are connected. So I hope um, the day will come. So I think that's the best. So I think that's the best cause for for the, the development of our country. I think it's the benefit of not only for our, our countries but um, for the United States too. What is there any bad feelings about the war? I know most of you. See, being 20, you, that would 20 years ago would be 1972. You don't even remember it. But uh, we don't. Uh, we're too young. We're too young. Too young. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. The war doesn't matter. No. No. What do you think? Instead of saying yes or no, some of us are influenced by the war caused by because father or mother yeah. uh, work uh, in the old regime. Yeah. But, uh, but did anybody, we ourselves, we ourselves did, didn't, didn't witness the war. Did anyone in this room lose a mother or a father because of the war? Yes. You did? Yes, you, you did. Mother. Your mother. Where was your mother? Was she here in Saigon? Yes. So that obviously affects the way you feel about it. Huh? That affects the way you feel, that affect the way you feel about the United States or just about war? Or how do you, what do you feel? Since you lost your mother during the war, do you feel bad about it? Did you ever know your mother? No, not, not lost my mother, but my mother had to go to the re-education re camp. Uh, uh, maybe for, for a long time, one year. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's terrible because at that time we are, we are too young. And then the mother had to go to the re-education re camp. It's terrible. And, and when was that? Back right after, in 75, 76? Yes. Right after the war was over? Anybody else have a parent that had to go to the re-education camp in here? Yes. What do they? What is your? What do your parents say about that? Say about the re-education. That whole experience. Yes. Do they talk. They talk about it at all. About the war. Or about the re-education camp. <laughs> no, uh, my I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Terrible. 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 It was terrible because why? Economic problems. The government can cannot pay you know, for the re-educators. So I think that's the worst, the, the, the worst reason, economical reason. But what was the purpose of the, of the re-education camp? Why did they have it? So they, they, they learned some uh, lessons, <laughs> a political lessons. The new, uh, new regime. New regime. <laughs> Do you all feel very political? Are you interested in politics at all? You no. No? They feel equal. No, no, no. There's no, no difference between people now, uh, of the people from a re-education camp or the uh, no. people no, who don't think so. so. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me what you mean. I think there's some difference. 
The difference is between uh, to uh, to to mark to mark the students when they enter to the university. For example, yeah. some are privileged about the marks. For example, if you are uh, a son or a daughter of uh, of a family, you know, of a family who uh, of a family, you know. Um, a family join the war. Of course, they side. They take side in the revolution. Uh, they sign the revolution. Uh, revolution uh, soldiers. So, uh, their children have higher marks. I think extra marks. Extra marks. Extra marks. You know? Could I ask you all because you're younger and we and we've traveled all over your country in the last week, uh, and we see lots of statues of Ho Chi Minh. It, what do you think of Ho Chi Minh? How important is Ho Chi Minh to you in your life? Are you? I think he's a good man. He's a good man. Yes. yes Why was he good? Because uh, you he spent see, his life. He's he's spent his life. No, I, I think he is the the the. The right, the right person. Genuine man. Genuine man. Genuine man who devoted all his life just for the liberation of our country. And I think he's he think of the, the, the right of the country first. I'm, I'm sure. How about over here? Somebody over here have an opinion on Ho Chi Minh? What do you think? Did you learn much about him in school? We were told that Ho Chi Minh is a good man, a, a, a great, most great man in our country. And do you most believe that? I mean, is that is he? A, is it important to have somebody like a father figure? Yes, maybe. And I think that they uh, they were right. They are right. What do you plan to do when you graduate from college? I uh, <clears throat> I'd like to have the, a good job. As for example, an interpreter as an interpreter, or a translator, or, or something else. Do you all have a lot of optimism about the future? Do you think things are going to be better here in Vietnam and the world in the future? Can you stand so we, I'm afraid we can't hear you, and I want to be sure that our I, I think that um, the, the future in Vietnam would be uh, very good if the United States lifted uh, embargo because if uh, when when uh, this happened uh, the relationship between Vietnam and the United States and the other countries can be uh, improved and uh, we get a lot of help from the, the other countries so uh, I think that uh, our country can develop with the, the help from our country are you all aware of what the embargo is yes I think after the embargo is released uh, the investors will come to Vietnam much more and uh, our country will have much more chance to develop the economy and uh, so far um, many things like the unemployment and uh, bad condition of life will be improved. Could I tell you, as we've traveled around, we've had very friendly people come up to us and they tell us that they like the United States. I want to know why, and if you can tell me if you don't, but I want to know why after the war people are so friendly to people from the United States. Do you have any reason? Sorry, I think that the people in, the, in um, Ho Chi Minh City are most of them less the American. I don't think the people in the other province in our Vietnam, but I think that the people in the south of, Ameri south of Vietnam, they all like Americans. Wow. <laughs>